Welcome to fun writing strategies you can use at home. Today's strategy, sentence scrambles, one of my favorites, because it's a game, a word puzzle, a meaning making challenge. It literally sounds like what it is, words of a sentence scrambled up that the reader has to unscramble to make a complete sentence. Let's take a look. This is a scramble that I made from one of my favorite children's books to read aloud, Good Night Moon. This next strip is what I anticipate my child would say or write. Now you can use sentence scrambles for anything, to reinforce anything that you want your kids to be thinking about. You may choose to use a scramble as a chore reminder, like this one, or to encourage, like this one, or to even spark conversation, like this one. Now, should you choose to make one using a different type of sentence, like this question example, I recommend you include the end punctuation at the end of the last word in the scramble. This provides an important clue. The question mark, as seen here, signals word order. So this is what is so compelling about the scramble, is all that it's doing in the background. Right? It's attending to the kids having to think about word order. It's attending to the kids having to think about communicating an idea clearly, right? reinforcing the job of a sentence. It's also getting at oral language development, literally building comprehension one word at a time, also attending to reading fluency and even vocabulary. So although it's a small, simple strategy. It's doing so much. It has big impact, big results. It's also a flexible strategy. It can be used not only with any topics that you want your kids to be thinking about. It can be used in texts, tweets, instant messages, Instagram, emails, on post-its, hidden notes in a pocket or under a pillow, or even notes in plain sight. Last, they're quite simple to make. So some things you need to think about while you're making your scramble is to always imagine what would my child say or write? Because that's how you're testing that it actually works, that it can be done by your child. So you start by thinking about topics that you'd like your children to think about or that you'd like to talk about with them. And then you brainstorm simple sentences. Once you've got your simple sentences and the one you want to try first, you I underline, identify, by underlining a word or phrase that is either in the middle or towards the end of the sentence. Then I write that down. And from here you see I wrote, I hope you have sweet dreams. I identified sweet, wrote it down. And now in step number four, I've color coded the rest of my process. From there, I went to the red, you have. And I put you on the left side of sweet and have on the right side of sweet. Now, some kids may need to have you have together. You'll figure that out as you work with your child. The next is the blue. So the remaining words that I have are dreams and I hope. So I'm putting dreams at the front and I'm putting I hope at the back. I also make a note of crossing out each word from the sentence so that I don't forget to put any words in my scramble. 
And the last thing I do is I take a step back and I look at it and I think, can my child do this? I don't want my scramble to be so hard that they're going to get frustrated and check out. And at the same time, I don't want it to be so easy that they're done in a second. And that's it. So have fun. And thank you so very much for watching.